Hi there. I'm following a Scientologist on crutches, who obviously is PTS. He's telling me that he doesn't want me to talk to him. Oh, there's another one. He's telling me he doesn't want me to talk to him. And he's telling me to fuck off that I wasn't a very nice person. Hey Frank, how are you doing? Your niece sends her regards. Alan Ryan, yes we have them all. Hi Alan, how are you? Denise Miscavige is arrested for marijuana possession and driving under the influence. That's your leader's twin sister. Obviously the tech didn't work for her. And there's Michael O'Donnell smoking a cigarette. So Michael. How much longer can he continue to deny what's actually going on? You find it funny? <laughs> the facts are actually out there, they speak for themselves. You know the doubt formula where it says examine the statistics of the group or individual? Actually do it. Except you can't get access to the stats. And it's not measured in square footage. Or numbers of buildings. Do you ever read the ideologue's policy letter? It doesn't mention buildings. It actually says it's not about buildings. It's about service and delivery. Hi Mick. Did you hear about Denise Miscavige? Uh, very boring. It's new news, it's not boring. But thanks for the comedy. So is everything the critics say just lies? Is that it? Is that the way you deal with it? Anything the critics say can't possibly be true. But anything David Miscavige says has to be true. Is that where you're coming from? Because logically it doesn't make any sense. There's a guy sat down over there at the wall. He looks like he's in some distress. He's actually being ignored by uh, a number of Scientologists. But I'm gonna go over and just see that he's okay because you know SPs are the only ones who can really help, right? And there's Ahmed, one of the new Scientologists in Ireland, and he didn't want to speak to me. Hi Ahmed, we love you. We care about you. Hey Michael, did you get a touch assist? You've lost the crutches. Hello again. Do you want a chat? Come on, is that a win? Do you want to share the win? I'm not meant to be retired, by the way. John, we should meet for a coffee one day, really. How a Negro, in particular, down south where the free coast of the soil, personifies that the gate post and the, the wagon and, and the whip and anything around there, a hat, hey, they talk to them, you know. What's the matter with you, hat? They imbue them with personality. What's the matter with you, hat? What's the matter with you, hat? What's the matter with you, Hat?
This is a complete idiot station. How many six out? I'm going to some other stations. I know that we all believe that Venus has a methane atmosphere in its unlivable. I almost got run down by a freight locomotive the other day. Didn't look very uncivilized to me. I'm allergic to freight locomotives. I'm always running into you. It's Gay Pride Week in Dublin and we just had a Scientologist go in there who claims to have been James Dean in a previous life. Now it's pretty much acknowledged now that James Dean was actually bisexual. I missed my opportunity to ask him, hey, you know in your last lifetime when you were James Dean, did you swing both ways or what? Come on, tell us the story. Anyway, I missed my chance, but if he comes out again, I'll ask him. And it is Pride Week after all. <laughs> Oh, and a little footnote to that, the guy who actually is the Scientologist who was James Dean is homophobic.